What's up guys? My name is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. My husband and I have been paying off debt for 40 months, 40 months straight. Most of it I have shared with you here on the channel. And today we are talking about what we did for month 40, which is April, 2023 for our debt free journey. Every month here on my channel, we talk about our debt payoff and what our goals are for the month and for the next month and go over in detail all the numbers of what we did through my debt payoff spreadsheet. So if you wanna follow along for our debt-free journey all the way to paying our debt down to zero, then hit that subscribe button, I'd love to have you. Let's talk about what our goals were for April. We set minimal goals because we are actually moving, actually we are moving in about a week and I am pre-filming some videos. So this is a little bit before the end of April that I'm filming this. I've actually been packing all day. I think I have spackle in my hair. It's just been a lot getting ready to move. We sold our house, we're moving to an apartment. We've got two young kids. There's a lot going on right now. So this is going to be a short and sweet update. So I'm really excited though to be here and talking to you guys. This is actually one of the final times I'll be filming in this house, which is crazy if you guys have been following me since the beginning. Like I started, when I started YouTube, I was in this house and we've been in this house for six years. It'll actually be almost six years to the day. I think we closed on May 15th when we purchased this house of 2017 and we are closing on May 8th of 2023 when we sell it. So anyway, let's talk about debt payoff. For April, we set a very small debt payoff goal, which was to just pay our minimum payment plus an extra $20 because I knew April was gonna be a crazy month. It's gonna be an expensive month trying to get our house done, ready, packed, all that kind of stuff and get some things for the new apartment to get ready to get all set up. This is the first time we've ever moved since we've had kids and Normally when we move, I'm like, it's fine if there's no curtains or no, this it takes a while to get these things set up. But when you have kids, like you want their rooms to be nice and ready for them and comfortable and get their monitors up and all the things that make you feel better to sleep at night and help them sleep at night. So hopefully we can all sleep and I know it'll be an adjustment for them, but yeah, trying to get it to be as comfortable and like smooth of a transition for them as possible. So that's been our focus for April, not so much debt payoff, which I'm sure you guys can understand. So we had a goal of just paying our minimum payment plus an extra $20, and that's exactly what we did. We were able to pay $850 towards my husband's student loan, which is the last debt on our debt-free journey. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet. If you like this spreadsheet, then you can get it for yourself. It's in my Etsy shop linked below. All right, so as I mentioned, we are on year four of our debt-free journey. 40 months in, I cannot believe we have paid off debt every single month for the last 40 months. I just feel so proud of that. I feel so confident in myself that we can get our debt paid off because we've been so consistent for the last like three and a half years. So let's take a look at the actual numbers. When we started our debt-free journey, we had all of these debts and we have paid off all of them except for this last one. So as you can see, all zeros here. The last debt we have is my husband's student loan. as a very low interest rate of 2.8%. It's not even an interest rate you can get anymore really because interest rates have gone up since we refinanced this. I think it's been about a year since we refinanced it. When interest rates kept dropping, we just kept refinancing, refinancing, and refinancing our debt until we got like the lowest interest rate possible. And now we are happy with it because you can't even get this anymore. So very glad that we did that when we did. So for April, let's take a look at the numbers. We started out with a balance of $73,069 on my husband's student loan. As I mentioned, we paid our minimum payment of $850. So our new balance at the end of the month is $72,387. So a little over $72,000 left our debt-free journey, which from where we started sounds like nothing, but then like when you think of it in isolation, like 72,000 is still a lot of money. So we are gonna keep pushing forward and make progress on this journey. We're deciding still what we're gonna do. So basically when we close on our house, we will have enough to pay off this debt plus a lot more. And my husband and I have been talking about what we're gonna do and I think we made a decision, but we're still gonna wait and see how we feel once we're in the apartment and see how we like it and see what we actually end up getting at the closing because the numbers, like we have a rough estimate, but we wanna see like what actually hits the bank account before we make a final decision and just see how we're feeling about everything. So I will update you guys when I know more what we're doing, but for now, we are just going slow and steady along with our debt payoff. As you can see, we have paid off a total of $142,267 on our debt-free journey, which is just an insane number. I just can't even believe as it keeps getting bigger and bigger, it just continues to boggle my mind how we've been able to do this, but 
consistency month by month we've made progress and as I mentioned, we've paid off over $72,000. So when we look at this pie chart, I have been waiting for us to get to two thirds paid off and we didn't quite get there this month, but we will for sure get there next month, even if we only pay our minimum payment, because that's just how the numbers are gonna add up anyway. So next month we will be celebrating two thirds paid off, but total debt paid off, we're at 66.3% and we have 33.7 left to go. So we'll hit that 66.6% .6 next month and that will be really exciting huge milestone. Cannot wait to celebrate that. All right. So for May debt payoff goals, we have basically no goals besides paying our minimum payment. As I mentioned, we are selling our house. We're closing in May. We're moving. We're going to have tons of expenses. We're going to have to pay rent and our mortgage for May. And it's just going to be a crazy month. So we haven't budgeted anything for extra debt payments. Doesn't mean we're not going to make any. We may end up making something. We're still figuring it out. Again, like I said, I'm going to see how much money actually hits our account from the closing. It may be kind of irresistible to make an extra debt payment and maybe a big one. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna see how we feel, but no extra debt payments planned for May. We're just gonna pay our minimum payment of $830 to make sure we stay current with our one debt that we have left. And that is our goal for the month of May. How'd you guys do on debt payoff in April? If you have any debt, comment below and let me know if you made progress. I'd love to hear about your guys' stories as well. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.